One of the highlights of our visit to Waiatapu Geothermal Park near Rotorua was the daily eruption of Lady Knox geyser, which is triggered by adding soap to the geyser's vent. The geyser shoots a plume of hot water and steam up to 20 meters into the air, creating a spectacular display. Hope you have watched our previous episode of the New Zealand series, our walking tour in Waiotapu, New Zealand's most famous geothermal park. If you have missed the episode, we recommend watching it, as Waiotapu is a true natural wonders of our powerful nature. In this video, we recorded the complete narrated show and the amazing display of Lady Knox Kaiser. The park's tour guide tells the story of this wonderful natural event in a very illustrative and interactive way, making the whole show a spectacular one. Please watch and listen to the guide's story, while the Lady Knox geyser erupts in the background with fascinating excitement. Enjoy the show. In my language, let's hear it again. Kia ora! Kia ora! Ah, that's Kia ora! better. I'm awake, I hope you guys are now too. My name is Shane Martina and today I will have the privilege of introducing our beautiful Lady Knox Geyser. So over 150 years ago guys it was estimated that in this region there were over 130 active geysers in this part of the park. Now by the 1970s this number had reduced dramatically to round about 15. The story behind our Lady Knox Geyser began just over 100 years ago. Now at that time all that was here was nothing more than barren wilderness covered in a little bit of light scrub and bush. Now where you folks have parked your cars this morning, not very far away from there, was one of New Zealand's first open prisons. Now the prisoners at this time who were sent here were required to clear this land of the planting of pine trees. Now. Back then, all that was in this clearing was a beautiful clear hot water spring with a ledge about so high around it. Now to give you an idea, but on a smaller scale, if you look behind me, you will see a scrubby looking plant literally growing out of the rock. Now that plant is Manuka or New Zealand's tea tree. Below the base of that tree is a ledge which marks the edge of what was then a beautiful, clear, hot water spring. Now, over a hundred years ago, prison life was pretty primitive. Now, these prisoners were about half a day's ride by horse from Rotorua, and so they did not have access to the luxuries of life. Now, they certainly did not have access to constant hot water. So a group of them thought it would be a clever idea to use this hot water spring to do one of the prison's nasty chores, which was to do the dirty laundry. So one morning a group of them come down here with their washing powder, they've taken their clothes off and started to wash them in this hot water spring. They've pulled them out, soaked them up, and whilst lathering their clothes in this hot water spring, to rinse them off, it actually caused the hot water spring to go into a hydrothermal flash, or what we know as a geyser eruption. So this soap actually broke the tension in the natural reservoir below my feet. Now to give you an idea, there is approximately 30,000 litres of water. Now dependent upon how much water it has gathered in the 24 hour period, and also with barometric pressure, this will predict how high she goes and how long she plays for. So, to give you another sort of look at what a geyser might look, la look like, is if you had an hourglass, the top chamber would be uh, water not exceeding 100 degrees Celsius. Now there's tension from stopping the bottom chamber coming into contact with the top, and that bottom chamber will be anywhere over 200 degrees Celsius. Now, when this surface tension is broken, causes these two extreme waters to come into contact, causing a geyser eruption or also a hydrothermal flash. Now due to the prisoners doing their washing in the hot spring, we now know that it breaks the tension faster, allowing us to see the geyser erupt at the same time every day. Now if you wanted to watch her naturally, feel free to do so. 
but you will be sitting here for 72 hours. And I don't think you want to be hanging around that long. So this just speeds the process up to allow you to watch it. So now is normally a good time while I introduce the geyser. Sorry, I've got to keep my clothes on. <laughs> So what I have just done is added surfactant to this geyser and what that would do is break the tension causing it to go into an eruption. Now why it is shaped the way it is shaped is what happened is the prisoners themselves piled, piled rocks around the base of the hot water spring. Now their reason for doing that was for their own entertainment. Now back in the old days they did not have TVs computers and so on and colour. Now the name Lady Constance Knox in New Zealand's history, she was not very famous, but her father was. He was a gentleman by the name of Lord Ramfurley and he was the 15th Governor General of New Zealand at May 1903 and he came out here to inspect this prison and upon inspecting it his daughter induced the geyser and that is how the name came about. Now you can find geysers in three main parts of the world, the largest being in Yellowstone National Park, USA, with a further cluster in Kamchatka, Russia, and also another cluster in Iceland. And in fact it is Iceland that gives us the name geyser, which simply means to gush forth. Now down here, we do not call these geysers. To us a geyser will be the guy drinking at the pub tonight, so not one of those. This is a geyser. Okay. <laughs> telling me there was a sign. Now she's told me that just to make it a big eruption today and speed it up. If I could just get you guys to start stamping your feet on the ground for me. She needs to feel your guys' love. My love's not enough. Yeah. Everybody put, put some vibration into the air for me. Okay. Right. She wants you also, while you're doing that, if I can get you to rub your hands to create some more heat. So rub those hands here, plus stamp your feet at the same time. So then it's going to go straight through, pop it through, and out through. So if you've seen those Māori guys and then they've poked their tongues out, and the all black haka. Okay, now we're going to see who's got the best fruit on the floor. Ready? As soon as you do it, she's going to go up in the air. She's told me this. She wants to see who's got the biggest fruit on So on one, if you can all give it a go, we're going to go. Yeah! Ready? Three, two, one. Yeah! Here you go. Here you go. 